Okay, so we've EQ'd and compressed the kick right here. Now we're gonna mess with the snare. Uh, with the snare, we've got the top and the bottom. Uh, let's take a listen to it real quick. Okay, let's take a listen to just the top. Okay, now I wanna listen to the snare bottom and snare top opposite each other, so if I do it the way it is right now with latch, it's like, okay, we have snare top, and then I turn bottom on, then I have to turn top off, and then, or I could turn bottom off and listen to everything, and then turn top on, and then bottom, and it's just, it's kind of a pain. So go to options, solo mode, and uh, hit uh, X or cancels previous solo, and boom, cancels the last one. So snare top, snare bottom, snare top, snare bottom okay you can really hear that snare belt on the bottom of the snare it's uh, sometimes you really want it in there sometimes you don't want it at all I've, I've had sessions where I've just completely muted the, the snare bottom uh, it just really depends on the session so um, we'll, we'll play with that a little bit so first let's let's work on this top the top snare and, and see what we got going here I'm gonna select a section so we can loop it. Make sure loop playback is on by right clicking and loop is checked and let's hit play. So let's, uh, let's EQ that guy. I went to the Pro-Q, went to my default Pro-Q. You see it's in this list here. And the reason it's in that list is because in setup preferences uh, under the mixing tab, I have it set. Default EQs is Fab Filter Pro-Q. So that's where you can set your two defaults. I wish they had more so I could have more, but Maybe in another release they'll have that. So we got the Pro-Q. Here's our frequency response to the snare and what it's doing. There we go. I definitely want to bring a little brightness out and a, and a little body and take a little of the low mid out. Um, I say low mid. I mean 1,000 is not really low mid, but You'll notice here that I'm boosting EQ, and here I'm boosting it, and here I'm cutting it. You're going to have people tell you that boosting EQ is bad, and that you should only use subtractive EQ, and that's fine. I mean, if those people want to use subtractive EQ, I mean, more power to them. I don't do that. Uh, they, they argue that, you know, by boosting it, you're adding, like, frequencies you may not want. Well, if I didn't want them, I would take them out, so I love boosting EQ, uh, especially now that Pro-Q has auto gain. So as you boost something and it pushes the meter on the EQ and pushes the output, if it's too hot, it auto gains it down, which I just, I love that. So I'm not concerned with adding frequencies that I don't want, because if I do add frequencies I don't want, I'll hear them and I'll want to take them away. So don't, don't let people discourage you if, uh, if you've been boosting EQ and, and they tell you not to do it. If they don't want to do it, fine, great, but... Um, I, I boost it all the time. Sometimes I get serious, like I'll hit this guy to 30 dB and I'll just be like, yeah. But um, <laughs> anyway. Okay, so now we've got the, uh, got the bottom snare. And I put an EQ on the bottom snare. the same thing. Mm. I don't really want any low end in that bottom snare. It's, I don't need any of it, you know? So I've just double clicked over here and brought a low cut down. And again, you can do this with other EQs. Like for instance, if I add the um, EQ7 band that comes with Pro Tools, you can uh, click in on high pass filter and then you can make the shelf really tight and then you can bring it in and cut out the lows and stuff like that, and then, you know, just like we're doing here, you can boost the highs and kind of cut the low mids. So, I mean, you can do it. It doesn't have an analyzer, so you can't see the frequencies, but I mean, if you can hear it, that's fine too. But uh, I just find this, I mean, this is a great plug and I used it for a long time, but uh, I just find the Pro-Q to be just so, so amazing. I mean, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice ride, the uh, seven band with the Pro-Q is like a Ferrari, so I just, I can't help it. I love the thing. Um, all right, so we've EQ'd the snare bottom and the snare top. Just made just a quick decision. Just get through it. Just do it. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to compress it. But since we have a snare bottom and a snare top, 
bussing in through five and six into five and six with the with the snare bus, we're gonna compress the whole thing. Now I want to hear both them soloed now. So I'm gonna go back up to options, solo mode, and latch. Okay, so now I can solo both those. And the reason I don't have to solo the snare bus is because it's grayed out because I command clicked it earlier. And so if I have these soloed going through it, if it's grayed out, it'll be soloed as well. So let's hear both snare top and bottom together. I've just muted the, uh, in effect, muted the snare bottom by taking it down so far. I'm going to bring it up to a level that I like slowly. And I'm going to do that by clicking the volume and then holding control. And is it control or is it command? At work, I have a, uh, I have a PC, so I sometimes get them confused. So I'm going to be holding uh, command on the Mac, and then you can go up incrementally with your fader. Yeah. Do you hear that ring? Let's get that out of there. I mean, it's not a bad ring, but I just want to show you how to get it out real quick. Okay, so I'm going to open up the Pro-Q that's on the snare top. I'm going to create a new band right here. And then I'm going to hold this headphone button. And it's isolating the frequency now. So let's go find that. It sounds like it's around between two and 500 maybe. about right there. Yeah, about right there, I'd say. Uh, so let's let's make the cue even a little tighter. Bring the game down. Sweet. So we've cut that out of it a little bit. And um, now we're going to compress the two snare tracks together and bring out, bring out a little bit of bite in that snare.